Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will fetch data and we will display that in data table. Okay, I have used this API, the dummy JSON that I fetch these user records and I display that in a data table uh, which is designed in jQuery and styled with bootstrap and I fetched and displayed the data in this table. So let's check it, 25 records, see we have now 25 records, if we back, we have 10 records. So it will change to the team. Let's click this next, next, second. Yeah, so let's filter it. See, we have filtered that. So now let's do it. Before starting this, please subscribe our YouTube channel. So let's get started. So I have created card at the email and I should change it. Okay, leave, leave it the name. Data table that JS these two files. In this file, HTML file, I imported these files. Okay, scripts, jQuery, and jQuery data table, and also data tables, bootstrap 5. This link from CDN, and also bootstrap 5 uh, data table CSS file, and also the bootstrap file. I have imported these files. So you can take these files from this data table, data table that needs. Okay, from this file, these are the CSS files, these two, and these are the JS JavaScript files that you should import. So now let's get started. We will come here. So first of all, I created a div element. Now I will create table class is equal to table and ID is equal to. I will assign an ID and users table. and also table striped here margin top and bottom and top let's uh, now t header here i will write mm, the first one would be the first name last name and also age email gender these are the properties that we will fetch from this dummy data dummy json data okay these are the user data record okay first name last name uh, age mail and others that we have so let's come to the body t body i will assign a class name to this body uh, id sorry id or class name table body okay so now we will write the javascript code to fetch the data so first i'll import this data file so let's import it script src dot slash data table dot js so After importing, so now we will write our function here. The function would be async with us. Function get data. And first I will fetch the data. Const records is equal to I will use fetch method and here I will pass a URL. And also I wait with async. So let's take this URL. Yeah, this user URL. I will put it here after that we will convert the, convert the records to the JSON format const data is equal to records dot JSON after converting to the JSON so now we will display the records in the table so what to do first I will create a table let top is equal to so now I will create a function. Okay, the function would be data dot users, and the data we have pitched in that in this data we have the users. So I will go to the users, the users dot for each. So now I will create a function. In this function, we will create a data that would be the user, 
every user okay so now i what i should do i will click tab plus is equal to i will now um, add the can get the with the tab okay with this variable what i should write i will write first a table row okay after that uh, i will write td table data and in that i should write first the user dot first name this one and also last name and then we have the age email and gender age and then we have gender and then we have email so we have this data uh, now we will just uh, put it to the data uh, to this can get that with this t body okay throw uh, document that get element by id the id with us was t body dot inner html is equal to with tab okay we can move here now so what now we should do now we will use the jquery now i will use the data table function um, I, this is the id with us so let's come to the jquery we will write something like this okay mm, data, now data table data table so after that we will pass here some options the first one would be the data the data with us is the data dot users and also the columns columns the columns with us are the first column would be uh, first sorry data Now the second column will be so let's write in quotation and now let's write other last name and also the age gender and email. So we wrote our code. So let's uh, now refresh the page. Let's refresh it. What happened? Target is taken. So let's see it fetching the data. Um, the error is that we get element by ID, but uh, it should be. We should not write the hash sign there. Let's refresh it. See it now we have our data so let's check it 25 records see now we have 25 records back to 10 and also let's check for see it we have that card and the sort yeah it is also working and also the pagination so it was using data table in javascript and we fetch the data from an api so if you like this video so please subscribe and like this video and thanks for watching